hey what's good youtube welcome back to my youtube channel hi if you are new here i'm kelvin um i've been away for some time now and i want to really apologize to you my audience i'm really sorry i'm really really sorry for disappearing without letting you guys know but anyways your boy is back and back and back to give you more tutorials you feel me we don't care let me tell, right, let me tell you <laughs> we don't care now let's get into today's video so in today's video i'll be cloning myself here yeah? i made a previous video but it seems most of you didn't grasp the concept so in today's video i'll be giving you a detailed tutorial on how to clone yourself using just your mobile phone and any editing software you're using you feel me let's get into the video so before we even start we need some things and the first thing that you need is your clothes okay because you are cloning yourself and you want the audience to get a clearer picture it would be advisable if your subjects don't wear the same clothes i don't know if you get what i'm trying to say so if i'm wearing let's say a black hoodie if i'm wearing a white hoodie sorry i can clone myself with a different subject wearing a different hoodie i don't know if you get the concept yeah let me explain don't don't explain you go explain tire you go explain tire nobody will hear you okay so for instance if this is the hoodie i'm wearing with the first one i can change my hoodie and then wear you feel me so this is all i'm trying to say if you wear different clothes during the cloning it gives the audience a better picture of what you've created there you feel me the next thing that you'll be needing is a mobile phone or a camera and a tripod okay now don't get me wrong if you don't have a tripod you can use stacks of books okay you can power stacks of books and then you place your phone on it to get a stable shot the reason why i'm using a tripod is because you want to get stable shots okay because during the post-production which is the editing you need to get one stable shot where the camera is not moving that is why you need the um tripod or stacks of books you feel me the next thing that you'll be needing is constant lighting okay you don't want your lighting to change for instance if your subject is here and then it was day and then another subject is here and then it is night it won't make any sense i don't know if you get what i'm trying to say yeah so you need constant lighting so it's better you invest in a ring light a soft box or you use the natural light i'm currently using natural light okay so one thing that you need to also understand is when the first subject when the first subject is sitting let's say this is your background yeah this is your background so when the first subject is sitting here the other subjects can sit here if you want to do three subjects or four subjects then you make sure that you align them in such a way that there are symmetries where you can use your mask you can use your masking method to separate the subjects okay we'll get into that very soon in this video okay so this this is your background yeah this is the background that you're using to film so you have to understand the concept that if the first subject is here the other subject should be here then a test subject can be here and other subjects can even be at the back or other subjects can even be in front you get what i'm trying to say do you get a picture so without much talking let's hop into the video okay guys so you can call me the first subject so i'll be sitting here leaving this place for my brothers to sit okay we'll be doing three cloning so i'll leave this place for my brothers to sit and i'll make sure that anything i do would be within my range so i'll be able to move here i'll be able to move here but i wouldn't interfere into this side i don't know if you get what i'm trying to see because a second person would come and sit at this particular side ah here he comes so you see how i'm respecting the first subject as he's sitting there you feel me so i'll make sure that i don't cross his line i'll make sure that i'm sitting at this particular side so that i don't interfere in his line because if i do that the maxing might end up um showing that we are not twins like we are different people trying to clone ourselves i don't know if you get the concept i want this to be as realistic as possible so my entire partner would come and sit here so i have to move and sit in my designated place the place where i'm actually made to sit you feel me so since i know he was sitting here i'll now come and sit here yeah you see so this would be my particular side i won't interfere into his side you get it i won't interfere into their sides this would be where i'll be sitting throughout you feel me the frame yeah so see where i go sit you see so this third place was designated for me so this is my place you get it so i'm able to move to this side and not interfere with them Okay, so after filming, you import your video to any editing software of your choice. With this video, I use CapCut and then you do the necessary cutting and adjustment. So the unwanted parts, you just cut them out. 
okay when you are done you select the second clip and then you look for overlay and make it an overlay and drag it to the place where you want it to start in my case i want both of them to be in the beginning so you drag it to the first part when you are done you click the second subject the second video and then you go to max so after selecting max you look for horizontal max and then you tap on the horizontal max again after that this pop-up menu appears and then you click on rotate and turn it so that both subjects are seen in my case you can see that part of the second subject is missing so what we'll do there is we'll select the second video and then we'll push it a little bit that is adjustment we'll adjust it a little bit select the first subject as well and adjust it a little bit as well we'll go back to max select max again and then we'll click on it again and then rotate it a bit this time we'll use position to change the position of the masking line so we'll change the position of the masking line by pulling it away from the second video so you can see we are making progress here then we'll be adjusting the first video and the second video so that both appear seamlessly now there's one mistake that i did that was filming behind my curtains yeah and you can see that there's a line that is showing in the curtains do you get it so the next time you want to clone you can use a very plain background or a background where you can blend them seamlessly anyhow we'll still do it so once you are done with the adjustment another thing that will help with a situation like mine would be to click on the mask and when you click on the mask this time that is after adjusting it this time you select feather so when you select feather it blends both videos let me let me show you an example so i'll look for mask i look for mask okay and then i'll go to feather and then i'll increase the feather a bit so it will blend both view let me put it to eight so if i click on the check mark now you can see it has blended the curtains a bit i want to concentrate on the curtains yeah good you see now i have two clones there mostly when you are doing two clones it's very simple as compared to doing most of them that's quite advanced and complicated but when you get this concept you can do more so now we'll add a third subject so we we'll select the third video and make it an overlay as well so you select it and click on overlay after doing that you scroll through and you see that it will only be the third video that will be popping up because you've not masked it hence that is an overlay an overlay is a video that is on top of other videos and because you've not made it transparent you can't see the videos that are beneath it you get it exactly so we we'll select the third video we we'll select the third video and do the adjustment so we can see where we want it to start and where we want it to end this time i'll let it start from the beginning so at this point i'll select the third video and go to mask again now look at what we do here look at what happened we'll click on horizontal mask we'll click on it again and we'll go to rotate so we'll rotate it so that the two videos beneath would be seen in addition to the third video that we've added do you get it and then we'll increase the position so that all the subjects will be seen in the video do you get it now we would adjust it a bit so that we'll see them clearly so just as you can see the line is um covering the phone holding the third subject and that's not what we want we want it to blend seamlessly yeah so we'll rotate it and do the necessary adjustment so that we can see all the three subjects without the interfering you get a concept now that was basically why i was showing you how to film so that you understand the filming aspect of it so when it comes to editing it becomes very easy for you now you see an error here right now i'll show it to you very soon so you can see that the second subject has part of its getting oh sorry you can see that the second subject has part of its getting showing in the other video which is not making it look real it's looking as if we've done cut and join cut and join and that's not what we want at all so we'll work on that so let me play it let me play it so if i play the video back you can see what is happening there now when the third subject pops i want you to notice where i've circled yeah exactly you see where the curtain is so we have to do the adjustment so that the curtain blends with the other curtains this is why i was saying if you have a clear background it will really do you a big 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 favor honestly okay so now let's adjust it anyways we'll still work on it so we'll select the subject again we'll select the third subject again and then would we'll push the video a bit no sorry the second subject and we'll push it a bit so just as you can see if we push the second subject to the other side if we select the second subject and then we shift it to the other side 
it would move towards the first video but i will still blend in the curtains so just as you can see the curtain that was in the third video has now blended seamlessly let me play it back you can see it's now blending seamlessly good so now that we have that we would now exactly perfect perfect but you can still see that when the third subject appears when the third subject appears okay let me drag it there's still this white portion because the light that i was using changed i was using sunlight so it changed so we we'll add a filter to it so it looks realistic or it looks more um how should i say it i don't know how to say it. just subscribe <laughs> good exactly so you can see now they've blended seamlessly so when i play it back you can have a good feel of it you've now cloned yourself having three subjects now bonus tip bonus tip if you are using this for a skit or a comedy i don't know or maybe just to impress your friends make sure that you write scripts for the subjects you'll be using okay you write scripts and then time them in such a way that if one is listening to one one will be talking you can edit it during post-production but if you get the filming right it makes the editing very easy else you would suffer during the editing and another tip for you to know where your subjects will be sitting is by maybe using a cloth or something so when this subject is done you put your clothes there to show it now you export your video and there is your clone selves thank you and make sure you subscribe